Chapter 3 Adaptations in Animals Get into You already know what a habitat is. Think and write the habitats of the following animals. There is a huge variety of animals living all around the world. Like plants, animals are also adapted to the conditions of their habitats. An animal develops a particular type of body, behavior, and habits to adjust and survive in its surroundings. These special features, which an animal adapts to live in a particular place, are called adaptations. We can classify adaptations in animals in the following three groups. Adaptations to the living habitat. Adaptations for food. Adaptations for protection. Adaptations to the living habitat. The natural home of an animal is called its habitat. Based on their habitat, animals can be divided into five groups. Terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, aerial animals, and arboreal animals. Terrestrial animals. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Horses, elephants, lions, and rhinoceros are examples of terrestrial animals. These animals adapt features which help them to live on land, such as lungs for breathing and well-developed limbs for movement. Horse, elephant, lion, rhinoceros. The weather conditions on land have huge variations. So, the animals living in different landforms adapt some special features. Animals living in deserts. Deserts are usually very hot during the day and very cold at night. These regions receive very little rainfall, which makes water scarce. Camels, foxes, snakes, lizards, and moles are examples of desert animals. They have the following adaptations. Some desert animals have thick skin and coarse hair, mostly on their backs, to protect themselves from the extreme heat and cold. Some frogs and other animals in the desert go into a sleep-like state, called estivation, to escape the extreme heat of the summer. Both water and food are scarce in the desert. Camels store fat in their humps to break down and use the energy when needed. Hence, a camel can go without food for many days. Info mine. As the desert winds blow a lot of sand and dust, the camel has long, heavy eyelashes to protect its eyes from sand, and its nostrils can be squeezed shut too. Find an answer. Which desert animal can go without water throughout its whole life? Animals living in very cold places. Polar regions are very cold places. They are considered to be cold deserts. Many animals such as polar bears, arctic foxes, seals, walruses, and penguins live in these regions. They have the following adaptations. Animals such as polar bears and yaks have thick fur on their bodies that helps in insulating their bodies from the cold. Many animals such as seals and walruses store extra energy from the food they eat during summer in the form of thick layers of fat under their skin. This helps them to stay warm and go without food during the extremely cold winters. Some animals, such as bats and squirrels, become inactive and go into a sleep-like state called hibernation to survive the extreme winters. During hibernation, these animals get their energy from the extra fat stored in their bodies. Polar bear, seal, squirrel in hibernation, bat in hibernation. Aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Fish, octopuses, crabs, whales, and dolphins are some aquatic animals. Aquatic animals have the following adaptations. Fish have fins that help them to swim in water. Whales, dolphins, and turtles have limbs modified to form flippers. Fish and crabs have gills that help them to breathe underwater. Whales and dolphins have lungs. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe. They take in and give out air through a hole called the blowhole on their heads. Amphibians, animals that live both on land and in water, are called amphibians. Amphibians such as toads and frogs 
at the following adaptations that enable them to live on both land and water. They breathe with the help of lungs while on land and with their moist skin when in water. Many amphibians have webbed feet that help them to swim in water. The rear legs of frogs and toads are stronger than the front legs that help them to move on land by jumping. Toad, frog, aerial animals. Animals that spend most of their time flying in the air are called aerial animals. Animals like birds and bats have the following adaptations. Birds have forelimbs modified into wings that help them to fly. Their body is streamlined in shape and covered with feathers. Feathers help birds to fly smoothly through the air. Birds also have light, hollow bones that make their bodies light enough to fly. Bird Bat Bats have wings but no feathers. The wings are made of stretchy skin. Some birds regularly fly very long distances during certain seasons for two conditions, food and to breed. They return to the original habitat at the end of the season. This seasonal movement of birds is called migration. Many migratory birds, such as a Siberian crane and greater flamingo, are seen in different parts of India from November to February every year. Siberian Crane Greater Flamingo Find and answer Which is the only bird that can fly backwards? Infomine Some birds like ostrich, penguin, kiwi, etc. do not fly. They are called flightless birds. Arboreal Animals Animals that spend most of their time on trees are called arboreal animals. Monkeys, Slots, baboons, and koalas are some arboreal animals. Arboreal animals have the following adaptations. They have strong limbs for holding branches. Animals like monkeys and baboons have curly tails, which help them swing on the branches. Monkey, sloth, baboon, koala. Up for review. Give two examples of each of the following. Number one. Terrestrial animals. Number two, aquatic animals. Number three, amphibians. Number four, arboreal animals. Number five, aerial animals. Adaptations for food. Different kinds of insects and animals show various adaptations in relation to their food and feeding habits, such as houseflies have spongy mouth parts. Cockroaches have cutting and chewing mouth parts. Frogs have a wide mouth with long, fleshy, sticky tongues. The tongue is shot out with a jerk to catch a flying insect. Snakes can swallow much larger prey as a whole. Animals have different eating habits as they eat different types of food. They adapt themselves according to obtained food or food they eat. Animals that eat only plants or depend on plants for their food are called herbivores, like cows, horses, goats, etc. They have sharp biting teeth in the front and strong grinding teeth at the back for eating plants. Cow, horse, goat. Animals like lions, tigers, jaguars, etc. eat only flesh of other animals. Such animals are called carnivores. They have sharp, tearing teeth and claws to hold or tear the flesh of their prey. Lion, tiger, jaguar. Animals that depend on other living organisms for their food are called parasites. These animals live on or within the body of organisms. They do not have teeth. Instead of that, they have long sucking tubes or suckers to suck blood from organisms' bodies. Lice, bed bugs, Mosquitoes, tapeworms, etc. are parasites. Louse, bed bug, mosquito, tapeworm. Adaptation for protection. Many animals develop certain adaptations to protect themselves from their predators. Some of the adaptations are Animals such as deer and zebras have strong legs that help them to run very fast to escape from predators. Animals such as cows, buffaloes and goats have 
horns on their head. The rhinoceros has a horn on its snout. Horns help these animals to defend themselves against predators. Porcupines have quills and hedgehogs have spines on their bodies for protection. When they sense danger, they curl up to look like a ball and the spines keep the predators away. Some animals such as tortoises and snails have outer shell covering to protect them. They can hide their whole body inside their shell. Some animals have colors or patterns that help them to blend with their natural surroundings. This is known as camouflage. For example, some fish that live on the ocean floor are flat in shape and have colors and patterns similar to the ocean floor. This makes it difficult for predators to see them. The fur of the polar bear appears white and helps it to blend with the surrounding snow and ice. This helps it to approach its prey without being seen. Infomine Chameleons are famous for their quick color changing abilities. It is a common misconception that they do this to camouflage themselves against a background. In fact, chameleons mostly change color to regulate their temperatures or to signal their intentions to other chameleons. Take a look. Animals on the basis of living habits. Terrestrial, deserts, camels, foxes, snakes, lizards, etc. Very cold places, polar bears, arctic foxes, seals, etc. Aquatic, fish, octopuses, crabs, whales, etc. Amphibians, toads and frogs, aerial, birds and bats, arboreal, monkeys, sloths, koalas, etc. Animals on the basis of eating habits, herbivores, cows, horses, goats, etc. Carnivores, lions, tigers, jaguar, etc. Parasites, lice, bedbugs, mosquitoes, etc.